Hey everybody and welcome back to What The Face and today something uh, old from the den um, old in the sense of the company lo no longer exists under this name but uh, this is a Beaver Woodwright shaving soap as you can see there and it is called Ghost Ship and uh, man Ghost Ship <laughs> mm, it's a uh, grapefruit it, it is spectacular I love it. And uh, we're going to do a bowl lather, bring it to the face, talk about the results. Some of the tools we're going to be using. This is the Zen Shave Brush that I'll be using here. And also, I brought out my Mongoose Razor. Here's the box, so you can see it. And uh, we put a new, uh, I think it's pronounced Kai Captain Original in there. If I'm mispronouncing it, just let me know. Um, that has been in here, and if anybody hasn't seen a mongoose razor, this is what it looks like. It's very wide like that, and uh, one stroke does a lot of uh, beard. So uh, we'll let you see this, and uh, let's get on with the shave. Don't go away. Okay, as you can see, the bowl is empty, and here is the soap in question. And if I just open it up. We can see that uh, it's very easy to take that right out. It's if I put, I could push my finger right in there, no problems whatsoever. No problems whatsoever. Um, so, you know what? Let's do this. Let's uh, let's put the soap in the bowl. Why not? Let everybody see what I do. Like it's magic, right? <laughs> almost ready and there are the cars and I'm gonna close that window there you go silence I want to do one more right in the middle okay so there we go all done with the soap and let's just bring out the mongoose so you can see it Not a cheap razor, but not $400. <laughs> so there you have the mongoose. And here is the brush, the Zen Shave brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put some warm water on there right now. We're going to empty the contents right in the bowl. And then we'll do the lather. So here we go. I think, oh wow, I can smell that grapefruit coming right out. Such a great smell. Great, great scent. I think we're almost there. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. All right, let's bring this to the face and uh, do the shave. All right, so I have about uh, five days growth, so let me wet the face. get a load of this <laughs> look at that crazy shit man all right so uh, that's the lather let's uh, let's apply it oh, and there we go oh 
I can't help it. It's going everywhere. There's a nice, a nice grapefruit citrus thing going on now. It really is great. It's starting to really get creamy. Rest of the lather on the brush. And let's tone down some of the <laughs> residual shaving soap. Uh, here's the mongoose, let me wet a little bit and start the shave. Let's go. Very close, but um, a word of caution with the mongoose. I, for one, have to go slow. Um, uh, whatever blade I really choose, it seems to be uh, aggressive to me. And um, you know, I, I, I nick myself, and uh, I once really nicked myself bad, but um, you know, it's just the way the, the, the razor is performing for me, it may not perform that way for you. And uh, here's um, here's the rest of the lather on that uh, on the brush. Probably two more passes, no problem whatsoever. Um, had a really great shave. Um, that is uh, the scent of the grapefruit is totally gone. Uh, very close shave, uh, mostly due to that brand new uh, blade I put in there. Very very nice. Uh, Sickness and glider okay with the uh, with the product, no problems at all. Um, and now I'm going to put on some, instead of grapefruit, <laughs> some lime. This is all I have in a citrus. So put that on for you. And oh, let me just show you. It is the lime of Captain's Choice. And here we go. Wow. <laughs> Probably. Some of the best aftershaves out there, I find Captain's Choice to be really one of the number one brands. That and fine. Oh man. Okay, so I had a great shave. And I hope you have a great shave too. And I'll see you next week.